Trophy TV. We're gonna look at this 71 Plymouth Barracuda that we call Medusa. So first thing you notice is it has a lot of extreme body mods. We modified the roof. We did a reverse mohawk here in the roof. All these mods primarily are done out of steel. I'll point out some of the stuff that's done out of aluminum and advanced composites. So the hood here, what we we're going after basically with the whole look of this car is if we blended one of the most popular appointments, the Barracuda, along with the new Dodge Viper. A lot of similar styling, basically making a modern version of a 71 Cuda. So we tucked all the bumpers here, built this lower front splitter. It's got integrated LED driving lights and turn signals, carbon fiber front splitters. And the whole front fascia is all made out of aluminum. It's got side vent ducts here that run from the fender to the door, as long as a lower side skirt. Integrated turn signals and a low profile sleek side view mirrors. You got a pop up flush mount gas fill cap in the rear quarter. The rear quarter has also been extended down lower and around the 12 inch wide tires. We've removed all the factory grip rail and extended the roof line and the A-pillar. We've got a real thin profile rear spoiler. Both the front and rear bumpers are tucked and shaped right into the body. We also added a full carbon rear diffuser panel from a Ferrari and custom built a center exit exhaust all out of stainless steel. The car itself is painted in PPG liquid metal silver and has candy red and raven black accent stripes in the roof, along the tail, and then in other places that you'll notice as we show you. The Aero Racing built Gen 4 Viper motor, 750 naturally aspirated horsepower, Run a K&N filter, full custom engine bay with the engine set back into the firewall of the car. The reason we did that is this massive V10, uh, a little bit longer than the average V8, so to fit it in the cooter body, that's what we had to do. Also have the Willwood brakes, Hydro Boost with the PSC reservoir, and of course everything's painted to match with the candy red and the gloss black. is the actual interior so what we did is fully customize the interior every panel on it's custom made it's wrapped in actual red leather from Ferrari with black suede panels we've got classic instruments custom gauges in the custom dash of course um, vintage air AC system we've got a PSC push button shifter with paddle shifts so we can get really aggressive if we want to, shifting up and down with the transmission. Uh, transmission's a Gear Star 4L85E, built to handle all the horsepower that that Viper has. Put. Recaro seats. The seats are heated and custom wrapped in the same Ferrari red leather with the black suede and the red stitch. Notice in the rear of the Cuda, we actually converted this to a two seat, completely removed the rear seat so we could fit these massive JL audio subs. The stereo system in this has a lot of Audison equipment as well as JL Audio. Just has a really crisp sound. We also have the Forge Line Grudge three piece wheel. They're custom colors and they've got a custom Medusa center cap. Big Willwood disc brakes. They're 14 inch rotors all the way around. They're six piston in the front, four piston in the rear. And then those Forge Line Grudge wheels are wrapped in a mishmash. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the quick look at Medusa. Thanks for watching All Speed TV.